Welcome back everyone to another character concept reveal for Sherry Arbor story. I'm sorry, when I when I do that like kind of tone with like this model, you can always tell just look at me. But anyway, moving on from there, today I will be revealing the first ever concept for Joseph Knight Flyer. But this is obviously not gonna be Joseph Knight Flyer himself. Because, well, I still need to actually think of a good design for him before I can show his actual heroic form. So today we're actually going to be looking at one of the disguises that he uses and nicknames he can go by whilst using this disguise, Joseph Manosef. Yes, you know, we, we got the rhyming uh, scheme there with Joseph and Manosef. But yeah, with this one, there was no extra little bits except for this little initial reaction. So I'm going to play that first. And then we're going to come back here and I'll actually talk a bit more about this. So yeah, um, this is the finished piece. There's no watermark or anything. This is made by this artist on screen. And yeah, obviously, um, I basically went with like, obviously a light green design for him because that is what Joseph Knight Flyer's main color is going to be even within like Sherry Aubrey's story itself. And I'm not going to lie, the hair is kind of scarily accurate to my own. Well, what could have been my own if my hair actually like was that long again. But yeah, I really like this design. Uh, that's why I went with this artist in particular because they actually do this kind of style here. I can't remember what they call it. Um, but it's really cool looking. I thought like of like, you know, shifting it up a bit to see like how different it would be in comparison to the other characters. Again, like I, I will admit here though, there is a W here because you know, just if I can't stop catching these W's, sorry. Um, but no, in all seriousness though, the reason that was there is because in the concept, um, I sent a picture of a hat and it had that W on. So that's probably why they put it on. I, I'm not really against putting that on, honestly, but the thing is, though, in the future, if I'm going to use this, I'm going to have to probably get rid of that logo, because I'm assuming that's a company brand logo, and I probably shouldn't be using that on the concept, so. You know, maybe on screen I'll make a Photoshop edit of me getting rid of that W. See, so, yeah, other than that, though, I'm, like, the, other than the fact that I don't have legs, which, again, is, cur like, perfectly fine, because as I said before in that reaction, that I'm probably going to change, like, what he wears anyway. And that's why there's barely any details on any of this right now. It's because it's like, it's kind of like a blank canvas. We can add different stuff onto it later on. And uh, yeah, honestly, there's nothing else for me to talk about here other than just show this image. Because obviously I could show the sketches, I could talk about all the other bits, but the artists took their time and they delivered on time. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this little reveal of Joe's Knife Flyer. Of what one of his many designs or, uh, should I say, disguises will look like within Sherry Arbor's story. Soon I'll hopefully be making a video talking a bit more about Joe Sly Flyer. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. Obviously on whatever channel you're going to be watching this on. Hopefully it'll be the Sherry Arbor Story YouTube channel in the future. And yeah, thank you again so much for watching.